Logan Kane here, and this is The Dwarf Run. The Dwarf Run is an old-fashioned RPG with elements of point-and-click adventure. The story tells of an expedition to the ancient underworld temple undertaken by the young dwarf Daedalin Stonecruncher. Wow, cruncher, I expected crusher. With the party of friends and numerous adventures that followed. Daedalin, Zen, Lenore, and Parpados are able to meet the strangest beings, join the rebellion, investigate conspiracies, defeat the most powerful demons, become champions of the arena, and even travel into space. Yeah, it's reminding me of Ultima. The features. Linear story, blah 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 blah. We don't need to know this feature, this is a point and click game. And there is no cutting edge bloomy graphics. Scaling of enemy levels. Oh, that's kind of sad. Abstract pu puzzle solving. Whatever. Level cap. Really? There's no level cap? Well, there's limited enemies, so I guess in theory there would be a level cap. Anyway, let's get into it. And we're back. Now, we're loading screen. This is the very first thing I see when I load the game. And here we are. A dwarf getting wasted. And Martha, Dalen. It's not like I'm complaining, but I've just opened my last keg of ale. Don't worry, you know, I'm not going to read that. New game. More loading. An elf with... Blackness. Ooh, here's those fancy graphics they said they didn't have. A funny thing happened on the way. Whoa, they look funny looking. Looks like we're right on track. The landmark! Hit it! Barbados, do you read runes? Try me. What about this one? Hmm. Well, tell me again what the map says about it. It says, then follow the path according to the hold stone. Hmm. Don't torture your memory, my friend. This is not a rune. But... Look over there. I am not going to remember what voices I'm doing for which. This is not a rune. It's just an icon, the canyon and the road. I think we make a perfect team. What storytelling? Oh, this is fun. I'm trying to lower my voice a bit. Time to go underground. Because when I'm talking up here, I think it sounds terrible. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit lower for the normal talking. What's that? Whatever it is, it's, it's definitely not of magical origin. Neither is it divine or dynamic intervention. Nor a manifestation of nature's forces. One more reason to get underground as soon as we can. Oh shit. We done just got trapped. It tickles. My horned skull cap. My helm of speed. My My feet. Why feet? Tried to move them. My feet. <coughs> well, we're getting underground. So far, this looks pretty good. What was this? $9? I mean, it is silly. Oh, hello. Quick tip one of three. In adventure mode, click the game world instructs clicking the game world instructs Dalen to interact with it. Party members will follow the leader on their own. The tab key highlights objects that can be interacted with. Any time during the game, you can choose one of three difficulty modes according to your preference. Okay. I'm actually using a mouse today instead of my trackball. Everything feels weird. Well, let's go over here. What does tab do? Alright, there's a rock over here. Let's go take a look at that rock. Another stone. A bold one. A, a bold stone, huh? Well, let's pick it up. 
Oh, I'm losing track of my voices. Game is autosaved. The party has acquired a rock. Okay, let's take a look at this boulder. Let's look at it. Lucky that thing did not land on us. Or vice versa. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to land on the boulder either. Let's try and pick it up. Give me a long enough... Give... Give... <laughs> I can't remember my voices. Give me a long enough lever and place it to stand. Now we'll move that boulder. Not bad for a fighter. Let's use item. What? Maybe I should be... So I have inventory. I want to put this in my right hand. <laughs> Whatever. Oh god, there's... There's things over there. What are those things? No, don't go to it. That's a boulder. That's a boulder. Blah, blah, blah. Can we go over here? Could use some weapons. There's a door. Let's right click to inspect it. It must have been centuries since the last time the door was open. The hinges have turned to disgusting, homogeneous blobs of rust. A new quest. Open the wooden door. <clears throat> Let us pick up the plank. Let us open the crate. The lid is nailed down. There must be equipment inside. Let's bash it open with the rock. It won't help us open it. Well, let us try to pry it open. Is that it? Let's pick up the torch. Looks like we're not alone. It's a transmuter torch. So we see the everlasting everfire. It's not everlasting. The flame is powered by self-sustained transfer of elements and should last about half a millennia. <laughs> not everlasting. The secret of starting such a process was lost 200 years ago with the death of its inventor, renegade mage Igar the Greedy. Let's hope it can be handled. Well now, let us burn. Burn it. Bullshit. Burn the damn crate down. So what about this thing? Okay, so there's lots of stones. I guess I could go pick up a bunch of stones. Hey, what's that? Well, this is... a lot of stones to pick up. Pick up the damn stone, you dickhead. Alright, I'm gonna stop picking up the stones. That's boring. Let's try and move back over here. I want to see this thing. It's called Thing. And what might that thing be? Well, it's not quite a thing. It looks like a primitive colony of some sort. I advise you to show respect to a fellow multicellular formation, especially considering it's a much more advanced nature. Advanced? Isn't it obvious even to you? All I need for my metabolism is a little light, which I consume and utilize with no effort for my conscious part. My existence is a constant meditation on nature of nature. The process is so grossing that nothing, not even the constant whining and cursing that comes from the shed nearby will enter even a tiny fraction of it. Engrossing. And now look at yourself. You've forgotten how to consume pure energy eons ago. Your pathetic existence bounds. I'm terribly silly, but we have to call. Duty is calling. Between devouring other colonies, which you consider as the good, and avoiding being devoured, the bad, your minds soak in constant troubles, and are as far a contemplation as I am for treasure hunting. I'm s speaking of which, find a copy of An Extended History of Time, and I will help you with some treasure. Dismissed. Oh, another, another bit of a quest. Another bit of a quest. Let's, let's go back over here. There's another stone. Let's try and use the lever that we have found. Oh, he doesn't know how to use it here. Well, 
I don't know what else to do right now. It's probably about time to call it quits for this anyway. We get the idea. Maybe there's combat over here. Let's go see what these guys are about. We should get together some equipment for venturing them. You sound like a mentor. Of course I sound like a mentor. I'm your father after all. Ooh, they dropped the bomb there. Okay. I really... I'm really not sure what to do. I, I want to see some combat, though. I know that. But let's get the rest of the stones, because what else do I have to do? This is so very exciting. Yeah, I'm not... I want to get in the door. <coughs> but... So I can't venture towards those zombie-looking things. And I can't get in the door without other stuff. So I need to get into that crate. Huh. Well... With this boulder... Let's try the lever on this boulder. No idea how to use it here. How about the torch? And the stone. Oh, I can listen. I haven't done anything with the door yet. I hear rattling and clanging behind the door. And what about the smell? It's bearable, Barbados is downwind. Do me a favor, put the winds to some other direction. It's stuck! What? What a surprise. It must have been centuries. Oh, we did that one. It still won't budge. Not enough strength. Not a, not enough momentum. It still won't budge. No, 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 no. Levering systems is set up and ready to go. Oh my god. <coughs> You'll play for this? For what? I love how calm he is. For my suffering for every second of 300 years. Why we? Because no one else is around. We are def We are defenseless until we find anything we can use as weapons. I'd rather say offenses. Battle Quick Tip. In their first battle, Dalen and their friends do not have much choice of actions. Maybe a good idea to use the tab key to instruct them to perform hit and run. To perform run and hit the only tactics available. Automatically. It'd be a good idea to aim them too. He's not doing a very good job at this. Oh no, Dalen is getting hit by a pickaxe. And he misses. <coughs> he's a... He's a mage. Okay. Whose turn is it? It's Zen's turn. Just hit him. It's still Zen's turn. Try and hit him again. Barbados is waiting for his turn. Now it's Barbados' turn. He doesn't have any spells. Well, I pressed tab. So they'll hit and run automatically. They're not doing a very good job of this. 
Well, at least they're actually hitting him now. Now he's dead. Miss, miss. Tip. Rock crushes bones. Hey, it says exit to Linux. That's funny. It says save the games here. I want to... Oh. Derpy. Well, let's... Let's try and use an item on here. Maybe we can skip through this. Pay for this. What, what, why, we, what, who... So, press tab key to instruct them to perform run and hit. The only tactics available. Automatically. So... Oh, now we can put it in our hands. So it's a good thing I picked up all those rocks, I guess. Let's put one there, put one there. You're gonna go ranged. Whose turn is it? It's your turn again. So do you keep that? There's three. This makes a lot more sense. Let's go ahead and do a ranged attack. See if there's still one left over. There is not. So pull that out of ranged. And go slash him. You? Booyah! Now you guys can just automatic. We'll see what happens this time with Rock Crush's bone. He just threw his. Doesn't seem to be crushing bone very well. Up, oh, it's starting to do it. They should have gave me a tip. Hey, go to your inventory during combat to equip stuff. Hey, we got a pickaxe. Heck, <laughs> I just felt. I kind of like the screen. It's great. I always wondered what the afterlife would feel like. Oh, everybody leveled up? Huh. Well, the first thing I want to do is get closer to this to see what the hell's in there. Second thing, I want to use the pickaxe on here, because clearly. Alright, I don't... Oh, this is the container. Alright, so I get armor... A real weapon? Go away. A festive robe? That can go on the other dude. Bow and arrow can go on the Legolas looking dude. Yeah, you're the Legolas looking dude. And the robe can go on the wizardry looking dude. Yeah, we're looking pretty, pretty sexy now. Alright. Was there anything else in here or just that guy. Let's check out the leveling system, then we'll call it a day. Do not forget to invest in constitution. Not only note that level ups do not yield hit points automatic or automatically. So Wizard, I want you to grab one of those and one of those. And then look at all these. There's perks, which I don't think I can do perks right now. I can only do spells. Summon. Short sword, long sword, vampiric sword, and sword of the stars. Summon undead. Oh, the equipment of the summon undead. We're gonna go with that. Oh, minimum level three. Okay, I guess we'll go with spark. Whatever. Fold up the sex. So this guy, he's also gonna go con, but dex. He gets a perk, though. Go for the eyes. Each rank is 1%. Witch it. One percent chance to catch an uncommon arrow or bullet. Which only do which does only thirty percent damage to the catcher and becomes added to the party inventory. That sounds cool. I'm going with that. This guy Constitution and apparently Dex, cause he's stupid. I don't know. We'll go with strength. So these are all the same, it looks like. 
Mind of the... Sp okay, it, it, it says the effect right here. Remain vigilant. Attacks of opportunity. Sounding D&D. Sounding D&D. Force jump. Cle oh, he's a cleric. Cleric performs a jump and unleashes a tremendous amount of chi energy. So he's a monk and cleric. Striking all foes. Anyway, this is boring. We're done. We're done. Let's fold up the sacks. And how do I save? Can I save or is it all just auto save? There's the graphics. And press F5 because that's what sa <laughs> I can quick save. Anyway, that is it for... I forgot what this is called. Run of the Dwarf? Dwarf Runner? I don't know. But it seems like it's actually a pretty good game. You should definitely check it out. Can't remember if there's a demo, but I'll let y'all know in the description. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy!